alaikum. I hope you all are doing fine and enjoying the blessings of Ramzan. We are lucky for all blessed army. Today I'm going to share with you all a recipe of a very delicious samosa, but they are not going to be savory. They are sweet and they are called meethe samosa. Let's see that how you can very easily make at home. You only need a stuffing made with semolina and a samosa dough, of course. And uh, I'll be sharing with you that how very easily you can make at home. So let's start. We will first make the dough just like we had made for our aluka samosas. If you haven't watched that recipe yet, I, I'm going to link it here. But uh, in this recipe, two extra things I'm going to add. That is that I soaked uh, a tablespoon of semolina in some water and uh, I'm going to add that along with some sesame seeds. I just wanted to add them, otherwise you don't have to add sesame seeds. Um, along with other ingredients that were um, ghee, salt and some cumin seed and we are going to make a firm dough and we'll let it rest now we're going to prepare the filling that will be of some roasted semolina we are going to roast it over medium heat uh, dry roast not going to add any ghee or any oil or anything like that and once it turns golden brown here i'm adding some chopped dried coconut you can add desiccated coconut i didn't have that so i added the chopped uh, dried coconut along with some powdered sugar and then uh, after mixing for a few seconds i'm here adding some milk powder and we'll also add a couple tablespoons of water so that the mixture doesn't remain too dry and it's easy for us when we are filling the samosas now I'm going to add some sultanas. If you don't like, you can add some other nut. Uh, we basically ran out of the almonds. Otherwise, I do add some ground almonds in this mixture as well. Now we're going to let this rest so that it cools down completely before we start filling our samosas. Now to make the samosas, we're going to take the dough ball and we'll break it into equal small portions and then going to roll them into um, same sized balls. Now to fill our samosas, we are going to take one dough ball, we'll dust the surface with some uh, flour and going to flatten it in half inch thickness. Uh, we'll roll it out and then uh, going to fill it with the filling. Um, the, it depends on you that how much filling you want but these samosas should be filled with a lot of filling uh, as much that uh, the samosa doesn't break. Uh, because uh, then it tastes nice. The pastry is thin and the filling is a lot and like you need to add an ample amount of filling in it. And then we're going to um, fold it like so and uh, I'm here uh, just pressing the, the edges and uh, just please uh, focus on how I'm going to um, seal it. So from one corner I'm going to show you slowly so that you can have the idea that how it's done going to take uh, like with my finger i'm just uh, picking up some dough and uh, then pinching in it and like this here i'm doing it quickly and but i hope you get the idea just uh, basically you're going to pick it and then pinch it pick it and then pinch it uh, i'm going to make one more samosa and so that you can get the idea that how it's done um, I hope you get the idea. It's not very difficult. Uh, you might have a little, um, you know, difficulty at first. But once you get the idea that how it's done, you can quickly make it. To be honest, uh, I did the same way. It was not that I had to do a lot of practice. It's just that, that you know, uh, you can do it. So just trust me. You'd have to try it to know it. So now uh, let's make the samosas quickly. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the Ramadan series. Um, after Ramadan uh, uh, series ends, I'm going to share some main course dishes as well and a lot of uh, other cakes that I make. I already have shared one uh, chocolate cake recipe with you guys uh, during Ramadan and I hope you guys liked it. And uh, I'm going to link that recipe here. And I'm also going to share one more recipe of a very delicious cake, so t stay tuned for that. So this is the uh, final look of the, all the prepared samosas. Now they're ready to fry. Over low medium heat, we're going to heat the oil in a wok and going to fry them till they turn golden brown. Um, they will take uh, like 10 to 15 minutes uh, if you are making them in batches. So 
just be patient and once they're done just take them out in a sieve so that all the excess oil is drained and then serve them um, they can be eaten hot or warm or even cold and can stay good up till a few days if you are keeping them in an airtight container so that's all for now guys i hope you guys are going to give this recipe a try and if you do please leave feedback and as always all of the ingredients and their measurements along with all of my social media handles are mentioned in the description box below i shall be back with more in the meantime take good care of yourself and of your loved ones and please keep liking keep sharing and commenting and do subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that bell icon take good care bye for now